Hi, my name is Candice Hughes, and I am the founder and CEO of Exquisite Liquors. People ask me all the time, so how is business going, you know, with the pandemic and all? And, and I say, good. I mean, I really don't have anything to compare it to. We started in the pandemic. So from the jump, we were on the steep side of the slope. Maybe it has been to our advantage because all we had to do from the beginning was climb. Sorelika came out of the gates swinging and captured the hearts of customers. Being featured by Otto Carrington on CNC3 News, wow, that was big. When Kamal called me the Sorrel Queen and to see my brand on primetime TV, it was amazing. Gary Abu then welcomed Exquisite to Moda Live for the Christmas Eco Market. And here, we were able to get the masses to sample our product and things really exploded. Extra Foods was the first shelf that we landed on and they afforded us the opportunity to be showcased nationwide. And that really gave us the advantage of reaching our target audience. Soon we found ourselves on other shelves and we were also featured in an online magazine, Sweet TNT Magazine. The new year 2021 met us all partying and liming in the backyard as the COVID-19 restrictions confined us there. Exquisite Liquors decided to join the fun and we launched our backyard rum punch, which came and gave Surrey Liquor a run for its money. Customers couldn't decide which one they preferred. The rum punch gave us an opportunity to reminisce on our colonial past and that plantation economy of rum and knowledge of rum punch, but with a modern twist. Like the sorry liquor, this was alcohol you could enjoy as it was smooth, flavorful, and it hit the right spot. All of our beverages have that historical context and connects and represents who we are as a Caribbean people. To reach a wider audience, we then ventured to the markets, like Upmarket and South Market, and to gain a greater brand recognition, we increased our shelf presence to serve our South customers, JTA at the Sea Tree Centre, Fish Bar in Caribbean Chima, and even the gourmet shops, like the Happy Gourmet in Val Park. Our features on radio stations, such as 96.1, gave us interaction with the listening public, while articles in The Guardian and Newsday made us aware to the reading population and showcased our resilience and creativity during the repeated lockdowns. YouTubers had a chance to see us as well, as Evolve did a sit-down interview with us. And Let Me Go 868 visited us at the farmer's market in Port of Spain. WESN even coined us as the champ of COVID. Sweet TNT magazine featured us again and described how customers were getting creative with the rum punch, using it to make cookies, cupcakes, and other cocktails. I was then named Entrepreneur of the Month by Voice of Agriculture magazine for using all local products in my beverages. And that was a huge accomplishment. Those online magazines really allowed the social media enthusiasts to learn about the brand. And we expanded our online presence to include Facebook, Instagram, and our very own website. Before the year could come to a close, the beverage that represents me the most was launched, the Tropical Sunrise Cocktail. A tribute to an iconic area, the Manzalina Stretch, and to my heritage from Eastern Trinidad. The coconut flavor is addictive. The Express newspaper featured the brand, and I received the Entrepreneur Award in the Independence Award in Sangre Grande. <laughs> At this point, if you haven't heard of Exquisite Liquors, I don't know where you have been over the last year. I could not have made it this far without my loyal customers, supporters, dear friends and family. So, what's next for Exquisite, you may ask? Well, we have another beverage to add to our Christmas collection along with a sorrel jam and another cocktail on the horizon for 2022. As I look to the future, the sky is the limit and the best is yet to come.